umpire positioning, all you have to remember is if play is going to the right, you're in the front. If play is going to the left, you're in the back. We'll work from there. All right, through the magic of video editing, we're gonna make a little graphic to show all the different places on the field that the play could be going on and where the umpire should be during those times. Don't laugh at these graphics. I know they're not much, but I think they get the point across. First here, we're gonna show that the near side umpire is blue, the far side umpire is red, and the blue and red lines are the lines that each umpire is responsible for. Remember, if play goes to the right, we're going to be in front. If play goes to the left, we're going to be in back. So you'll see that our near sideline and the sideline and 30-yard line of D to our right is going to be ours, the blue side, and the other umpire will take care of all that red stuff. We'll start with us throwing the ball in. The gray circles are the horses and the players and the mass of players. Again, don't be critical, please. The blue umpire is going to throw the ball in. It's hard for them to see the back of the lineup, so you'll see that the red umpire scoots into midfield so they can see the twos and the threes in the back of the lineup to help make sure that they don't uh, allow any cheating going on in the back side of the lineup. Okay, ball comes in. Play goes out to the right, of course. That's our side, us being the blue umpire. So we're going to be at the front of play. We are going to lead the pack and make sure we get to that 30-yard line at the same time as the ball so that we can see where the ball is being placed, where the horse's feet are when the ball is released, and make sure that no one is inter interfering in that area. You'll see the red umpire drifts to the middle of the field instead of being on the sideline, and they can look behind horses, look for elbows, center lines, uh, have a different perspective on crossing, so we have one from the side, one from the um, back. If play ever changed hands, they'd be ready to go right in the front of play if it was ever going to go their direction. All right, so now play goes into the area. You're going to have some players farting around in the area, some players hanging out in midfield. If the blue umpire drifts a little further into the area, they'll be able to see the D and the back line and the 30-yard line all at the same time, while the red umpire will kind of scoot in close and make sure that the people in the midfield are not cheating and uh, he can give that second perspective. We'll say that the ball comes back into midfield and is going back the other way. You'll see the umpires don't have to move their positions much at all. Because the ball changed hands and now it's going to the left, the red umpire is already going to be leading the pack and us, the blue umpire, is already going to be trailing the pack. It's set up to where you're less likely to get caught off guard and be playing catch-up as an umpire. So as the play continues to get closer to the so the other side, the red umpire is going to be in the front watching that 30-yard line. We can call it if we see something, but our primary goal is to drift into midfield and watch horses' tails to be able to get that behind the player's perspective. Uh, again, you're going to have the red umpire seeing the side profile perspective and we'll he see the behind the player perspective to get a good view of everything. Now that play goes into that area, uh, we can hang out, make sure the people in midfield are behaving. Uh, and the red umpire will drift into the area to catch things like the D and their back line. Last, we'll say that they made a goal and it's the other umpire's turn to throw the ball in. Well, we can shift into midfield again to look at the back end of the lineup and depending on if the play goes to the right or to the left we will be in the front or the back of play so to sum things up if play goes to the right you lead the pack if play goes to the left you trail the pack and we'll get further into this in future videos until next time chief ump out